Are you through? Have you made it to the other side? What's up? I was asking if you were there. Oh shit! What? Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? What? One second, I was finishing a video. Jesus! Jesus, titty fuck. Are you watching a titty fuck video? What's going on? Okay, sorry. I was finishing the video. That was dumb. What the fuck were you Jay watching? Jay Leno went in a wheelie car, and then he fucking rolled it. Okay. Much as he rolled it, the guy who owned the car rolled it. He's 80. Oh, shit. Everybody was fine, but the car was fucking ruined. Ah. Uh. Uh, exactly. Pretty much. <laughs> House cupcake. Trying not to comprehend the fact that I have work in six hours. Oh, all four cupcakes. We can I think that's what I worked out too. We can skip this if you want. No, that's fine. <laughs> I only sleep five hours anyway. Ow. I know, it must be seven hours right now. It's seven, because I, I have work at five. Or six. Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. You'll sleep when you're dead? Yes. So the good lord invented scotch. What am I hearing? I, I don't know, what are you hearing? It's like I'm vaguely picking up a radio station as well. You are? No, that's what it sounds like. Or like there's there's a TV on in another room, but I can sort of hear it. Let me see something. And it went Does that away. help? Yeah. Oh, was that your fan? That's my fan. Sorry. Oh. It's on. It's on higher because my mother refuses to run the air. Okay. Well, as long as I, I'm not going nuts now. As long as no, I know what I'm it sorry. is. I'm sorry, Kitty. I normally have it on low. It's on medium right now because she hasn't been running the air and it gets hot down here. How hot is it? Uh, like in the 90s. Not now, but it was earlier. It's still 90 here now. Well, I don't live in California. When the sun goes down, it cools off here. <laughs> The sun never goes down in California. It's summertime. The only way it's going to get cold is if there's a massive storm, and then it's probably still going to be hot. But no, mm -hmm. it's it's like 90 with 12 mile per hour wind gusts. Woo. So, yeah, uh, I mean, my specific part of California isn't on fire today. It was a few days ago, but there are many fires in California because it's summer, so it's time for fire. Bring mm, forth fire the, season. Bring forth the fire so but that yeah. we can use up our reserves. Hello and welcome to episode 83 of the Super Happy Fun Jabbertron Departed with Kiki and Cupcake. Remember to keep yourselves hydrated during the warmer months. A nice cool glass of iced tea is what I would recommend. Lesbian bear anime that I always forget the name yeah. of. I told uh, I told Spaghetti about it. She's like, that sounds like the coolest thing ever. Dude, she should totally watch it. It's a girl eat girl world. <laughs> gar gar. Oh, I'm sorry. They go, gow gow. Gow 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 gow. Gow gow. They're on here. They're in the very bottom corners. <laughs> 
They're not like the I told you. Guys, I was like, though. this looked really cool, but I, I just, I had to wait for it to come out in English. Yeah, I things. know you had it. It's a tad surrealist, and I just, I couldn't do it in yeah. Japanese. It was like um, symbolism. I, I really, I really, really liked uh, Monthly Girls Nozakun, mm-hmm. Nozakikun, but. I just couldn't get into it as much as when it was in English. Like, I rewatched it in English. It was so much easier to go through. Well, because your brain's too busy focusing on other stuff. I'm busy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to work and drink scotch. <laughs> and I'm not a drunk, but... He says, as he makes sure that we hear the sound of his scotch. Scotchy scotch scotch. Uh, It's just a small glass. Dude, I'm making a watermelon, baby. I have nothing to be ashamed. Oh, I used the wrong scotch. Oh, no! I forgot to clean the glass before I uh, switched. I have two two bottles of scotch right now. I've, I've... What? Huh? I said you for not cleaning oh. your glass. Well, I I mean I, I washed it out last night, but like Well no, I meant be- between mixing a deer and scotch, just glass clean, preserve flavor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I've ruined the flavor of this considering it's been empty and dry for like twenty four hours. Mm. Yeah. People are like, you 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 ruined the flavor by doing that. I'm like the glass is dry. All the alcohol has evaporated. Mm. There's nothing left in the glass. Well, then you're fine. I, I literally got... Because Raid gave me shit about that one night. I'm like, this glass has been dry for over six hours. There's nothing in the glass. Like, I could see if I was switching back and forth. But, like, the glass was dry. Whatever. Well, then that's fine. I thought you, like, had had the other, like, earlier or something. No, no. I haven't drank today. Okay. This is my first one. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to cut back to just one glass a night. My uh, shut up. My father used to be a Scotch connoisseur. That was actually one of the last things he gave to us. He he had had been keeping this Scotch. I for, I forget exactly what it is. I could ask my brother because I gave it to him to drink. Because, yeah. Because I w- that was around when I was starting antidepressants, so I was a cheap ass drunk, and I didn't want to ruin Scotch on that. Yeah. But he, that was one of the things he gave up when I was born, because I wasn't a, a whoopsie. I wasn't planned, so there wasn't money planned for me. But it, you know, occasionally we get ourselves a nice little bottle, have a nice little drink. That although is we, amazing. Although we mostly switched to wine after that. And uh, did you finally click my link? I, I'm sorry, I just noticed it. I was like, "What the hell is that thing?" <laughs> Yeah, she is fucking adorable for a twenty-seven year old Asian yes. woman. Yes, she is. I'm not even. So. I'm not even going to try to say her name. Or her last name, that is. Taki. As I try Tuketsu. to say. Taketsu. Taketsu. Okay. Taketsu. Ayana Taketsu. Decided right, to cosplay see. for Ta- her birthday. K. Tasu. Mm. Oh shut up! Oh, I asked my I asked my computer to remind me to wake up at ten o'clock because I was go- I was going to take a nap, well, but my- then my mom was like, "Get your ass up here! Your cousins are here from Albuquerque." I was like, "Okay, coming up." That was my reminder to turn on the parking, uh, parking lot- lights. lights, but I did that earlier. So, yeah, she's damn adorable. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, so well, she was Azusa. She was, yeah, she was and Asian. And I don't know those ones. I I don't know Sardar online or anything. I don't either. But I, I know Kaon. That, that's mm-hmm. important. She did this for her birthday. That's hilarious. Well, I'm sure the the studio went. Let's make a marketing stunt for your birthday. Okay. But still, very cute. It's hilarious. Hmm. Ugh. Okay, now let's go from cute to Rumble Hearts. Okay. <laughs> so, 
I was so much I was so much more angry when I finished it than I am now. I've I've had time to decompress. Cool off. Uh. But do you want me to just basically lay the the short and sweet like plot of the entire anime out? Sure. Because, okay. Because I'm never gonna play the the visual novel. You're not missing anything. Believe my believe me. If 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 what I saw is anything close to the canon ending of how that story is supposed to go, that was terrible. I have to look up their names because honestly, I was so I was so just like, what, what the actual shit? WTF, that mate. I just kind of blanked. I know that the I know that the main squeeze is named Mitsuki, but that's about all I can remember. All right, so you have. You have three main characters. You have Takayuki, who's the who is the would be you in the visual novel. Uh, you have Haruka. You have Mitsuki. Mitsuki's a high school swimmer, athlete. You know, very very tough. Uh, Haruka is kind of shy, quiet, uh, etc. Story starts in their senior year of high school. Haruka asks Takayuki out. Takayuki says, okay, sure. They have a little bit of a spat. He says he really wants to go out with her. They decide to meet for their first date. While she's waiting to meet him at the train station, she's hit by a car and put into a coma for three years. This happens between the first and second episode. From that point on, they time skip three years into the future. You don't hear anything about what's happened. It's just Boom, three years later. Takayuki's working as a waiter at a restaurant. Is He's got, you know, crazy, you know, crazy co-workers and no-nonsense, you know, old old guy boss who is real real nice to him. Um, Haruka has, or not Haruka, I'm sorry, Mitsuki has given up swimming and become an office lady. He's working a job, blah, blah, blah. She's not real happy. Uh, Haruka has been in a coma for three years. Her sister Akane has been going to see her every day while she's been unconscious. Um, in the meantime, Mitsuki and Takayuki have have uh, sparked up a relationship. After this shit went down, they were so distraught it just kind of it just kind of meshed together. Um, there's some insinuation that he had already had feelings for Mitsuki. Before he started going out with Haruka, and that had had she not been put in a coma, he probably still like he there still probably would have happened with him dumping Haruka and going out with Mitsuki. It happened anyway because she was out of the picture. And later on, you find out that her parents, I'm sorry, Haruka's parents, tell him stop, stop coming to see her because she's never going to wake up. Um. Long and short of it is, she eventually wakes up, and there's this whole thing about how she's got retrograde am- amnesia, so she doesn't even remember being unconscious. She still thinks it's the same time it was when she was hit. She doesn't realize time has passed. Um, they go through this whole long song and dance about how he has to make decision. He has to make a decision about who he's in love with. And he, he and they go through all this this shit like before she wakes up, the main guy and Mitsuki are looking at moving in together and you know getting a deeper relationship going and blah blah blah. And but then when she wakes up, he's really torn, so he's doing stuff with he's trying to keep both relationships going, but he also has to be really discreet when he's talking to Haruka because they're worried that if she finds out that there's been a time a time jump that it will literally like kill her because she just won't be able to mentally handle that everything has changed so there's this whole thing about like they're they're stringing her along they're stringing her along he's dealing with Mitsuki. they're having issues he might get a promotion at work blah 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 this that and the other thing they get in fights Mitsuki gets drunk Mitsuki he sleeps with one of his one of their mutual friends from high school because she's mad at him. He but he's been distant because he's dealing with Haruka. And at no point is anybody being an adult about this and actually, you know, 
dealing with their problems. They're just kind of pushing each other away. So in the end, what ends up happening is near the end, uh, it starts. To sh- Haruka starts to realize something's not right because she somebody leaves a mirror behind and she realizes she had short hair when she was put in a coma. When she wakes up, she's got long hair. and Her hands are very frail, I'll say. I can't think of a good word for it, but they, her hands were, were soft and supple, but now they're they're spindly and frail because she's been sleeping for three years. Mm-hmm. And um, she starts to ask questions and finally her sister can't handle it and just basically spills her guts and says, You've been you've been in a coma for three years. Uh, Takayuki is not studying for exams like you remember him doing. He never took the exams. He ended up just getting a job, whatever. And him and Mitsuki are are together. Or I'm sorry. Before she says any of that, she she states that she's been wearing her, her middle school uniform, and she states that she's a senior in high school, and he's not studying for exams. And then tops it off by saying. Mitsuki and Takayuki are in a relationship and have been since you were put in a coma. She just bleh, she just collapses. And they go through all this work of, of basically trying to revive her. Uh, she stabilizes. She wakes up. The next time she wakes up, she has no memory of like the two weeks where she was awake in between. Oh, God. It's just completely gone. So... But she doesn't have retrograde amnesia anymore. Now she realizes she she realizes like when she wakes up the second time, she understands something isn't right. She under she comprehends that she's been asleep for a long time. Um, Takayuki at this point, Takayuki gets his gets in a fight with the guy that uh, Mitsuki was sleeping with. He says, "You know, you're a coward. You're an asshole." You know, you stop. You're you're a you're a philanderer. Blah blah. blah. They get in a fight. He gets he gets offered the promotion. All this shit happens, and then they and then you get to it's about three episodes before uh. the end. They start wrapping shit up. So, uh, it looks like he's gonna end up. It looks like main guy is gonna Takayuki's gonna end up with Haruka. They he goes to see her. He's been separated from Mitsuki for a little bit, I'll say three, four days. And he goes to talk to her, um, and they say, Well, she's not she's not in her hospital room, she's in physical therapy. And because he did all this stuff with her and stuff, she's it's pushed her to to be to try to re, to to be stronger, to, to survive, to get better. He takes her for a walk. She's in a wheelchair because her legs are not quite working right after being asleep for three years. And they they go down on the beach and she walks on the beach and they have some big long spiel about uh, this character from this children's book that she liked that it turns out was the fairy of of goodbyes, of farewells. And she gives this spiel about how if he that she understands that that Mitski and him are 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 in love with each other and this is farewell farewell they'll never see each other again and he cries a little bit and he walks away and he goes and he goes on this like last couple episodes are him basically trying to find Mitsuki and make up with her so they do that thing and the ending is literally him and Mitsuki make up he tells Mitsuki she's out of my life forever I'm never going to see Haruka again I'm done it's just you and me going forward kid uh, they live happily ever after. Haruka becomes a children's book uh, author. And the ending is basically how she never found love, but she found success writing children's books. The end. To which I literally screamed at the top of my lungs, fuck this. Fuck this. This is fucking stupid. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is this? What the fuck? It was melodramatic. It was stupid. It had no meaning. At no point did anyone, adult or otherwise, make any good decisions. It was literally just people bumping into each other repeatedly. Are you sure this wasn't just Days of Our Lives or something? 
What's up? Are you sure that you weren't just watching Days of Our Lives or something? That's literally what it felt like. Like, I, I did a bad job of explaining it, but, it, like, it, like, literally, like, at, at, at no point did anyone actually sit down and go and, and try to work it out like adults. Like, I kept going... I, I I couldn't I couldn't understand why the guy couldn't separate his feelings for the two girls. Like, okay, it happens, but you've you've been with Mitski for three years. You dated you were dating this other girl. I mean, they they'd all known each other since they were kids, but you'd only been dating Haruka for like a week. And well, you know, it's hard for it's going to be hard for her to wake up three years later and find out that people have moved on with their life. You need to. At some point, that needed to be brought up to her that people had to move on, and they didn't know if she was ever going to wake up. And that doesn't mean that they can't be friends anymore. But it was like, nope, they can't be friends anymore. This there has to be closure, and so the closure is that they'll never talk to each other again. And for the life of me, I just couldn't understand that. Like maybe I'm an idealistic fool. I don't know. That's. But I was just like, that is commonly the problem of romantic drama. It lacks, and I'm not saying these things don't happen in real life, I mean, even the situation, but but also the way people handle it. For some reason, there's an expectation of, if you ever had feelings for someone else, when you have feelings for a different person, you need to cut off that someone else. Which is ridiculous and almost impossible for everyone to do in their life. Like, not all breakups are bad or anything, and sometimes people you used to date are still in your life. But it's always played up as a, it's me or them, which I've always held, if you have to say it's me or them, unless it's unless you're telling me to get away from, like, a crack dealer or something, I'm probably going to get away from you, because you drew the line. I, I just, like, I couldn't understand it. It was like... Like, obviously, you can tell that in the... You can tell that... Uh, you can tell that, that he had, like, the way that was written, that there was a chance that he would... That he could have ended up dating any of these girls, like her little sister, Haruka's little sister or Mitsuki, or any number of the girls that you run into. You could see, like, you could tell that they were trying to adapt a lot of material together. And it was a little awkward. Because there were a couple there were a couple nurses, too, that looked like they were obviously going to be romantic options. What is this anime called, again? Uh, Rumbling Hearts? Rumbling Hearts, okay. Which is based on the giant ass long visual novel that we tried to look up last time. Um, I don't know. It felt it sounds very mel unnecessarily melodramatic and typical, so would not recommend. Uh, It just it just seems like a really weird it's just like it just seems like it was really awkwardly written. I don't I don't even know how like not the anime so much, but just the way they set up all the love interests was just like okay. Well, apparently there are eight possible endings. Oh that's nice. For the sixty plus fucking hour game, but there was also apparently very little in the way of choice, and it is a lot of just reading. And I love to read, but fuck. With how trite this sounds, no thank you. I mean, I, I felt this, I felt similar, but not to the same extent when I watched Shuffle. Because they, like, they had the guy going out with the girl he had talked to twice in the entire series. And not, like, the three girls that lived with him that he spent all his time with. He just randomly, he's like, wow, they're they're like my sisters. I'm going out with this girl that I 
that I go to school with and I've talked to three times in my entire life. I remember thinking that was a really weird route to take. Mm. And this one, I just felt like, I don't know. I just felt like it was like, this isn't how, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it felt like this is like, it was just like everybody acted really dumbly and nobody was willing to pardon the phrase man up and just be like, yeah, you know, this is silly. We need to all get over this. You know, she's like, what, what? Not to say he couldn't go back and rekindle his relationship with, with Haruka, but it was just like, in in the real world, I have a hard time believing that it would have happened after he's been with the other girl for that entire time she's been out. Yeah. Um. So this is made by Age, which is a visual novel company. They worked on School Days. Oh, that explains <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh. And a bunch of other stuff I've not heard of. I just... It's, it sounds it just, like it sucked out your soul. <laughs> With its well, it didn't, it didn't oh, suck out my soul. I'm just like looking at it, like, like I got really, I kind of got interested at the end because I was like, this looks like it's gonna actually turn out okay. And then they just had this really weird ending where he cut, like, like had he said, you know, if he had told Ikana, you know what, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I grew up. I grew. I, I moved on. I still want to be your friend, but I gotta, you know, I gotta do my thing with Mitski. Instead, it was like, this is goodbye. This is goodbye forever. We're never going to see each other again. And I'm going, that doesn't make any fucking sense. What? Like, maybe that's the, that was the least painless or the, the, the least painful way to, to handle, you know, a relationship you don't want to have anymore. But it was like, I just, I was just like, like that just really kind of stuck with me. I'm looking at it like, what the hell? Like, I, like I told you when I finished, it, I said, I just, I just didn't know what to think. Like, I'm looking at it, going, what is this? Where, what am I watching? Uh, what sounds like a bad soap opera? <laughs> so a soap opera. Which the only soap opera I enjoy watching is wrestling, so. Yeah, I just. Like, not that I think there's anything wrong with soap operas, but I'm just going. This is just so strange. What the, what the hell? hell? Happened? Oh, God. What does my mother need? Yellow. Transmission interrupted. Transmission. All right. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and she, I mean, she literally waits till this point to ask me for the password. <laughs> She could have asked for the password any time today, and I could have pulled it up for her. <laughs> but that wouldn't be a mom way to do it. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Were we done talking about rumbling hearts? I don't, I don't know what else to add to it. I mean, it was just... It's not the worst anime I've seen, but definitely I would never watch it again. It's just <laughs> so 
just so contrived, all of it. Alright, then... Um... My brain went dead. Uh... Zero stars, I guess. Do not rewatch. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was it was bad. We'll leave it at that. Did, did you did you pay a lot for this or? I don't know, like thirty bucks. I think it wasn't like crazy expensive. I've been meaning to watch it for a long, long time, but I was Ooh. I was not imagining it was going to be that bad. I mean, I haven't purchased anime in a long ass time, so I have no idea what what the pricing scale is this day of what's cheap and what's not. Although you occasionally get some random ass thing at your used book place for ridiculously cheap. Mm-hmm. See, I put a sentence together. I know words. So how are you enjoying the apocalypse so far? The apocalypse? What apocalypse? The apocalypse of U the UK leaving the European Union. Oh, well, I, I guess it's shitty. You know that thing that's making our stock markets crash right now? Oh, well, many things have made our stock market crash. Mm -hmm. It always recovers. Well, it probably will, but not for the UK for a while. Yeah. Cause, um. The UK, UK is kind of screwed for a little bit, but uh, yeah. it, it'll all recover. I mean, the vote was very close, and technically Parliament could just go, nah, because it, was a, it wasn't a a law, it was a referendum. It was, you know, one of those things where you go, what does the public want? Yeah. And, and they could go, nah, but from the sounds of it, they're not. So this would, might likely start, I'm, I'm sorry, Ringo, do you have an opinion? You need outside? No? Do you wish attention? Well, come here. You have to come here. These aren't wireless headphones. You have to come here. Anyway, the, the United Kingdom might also break apart. But I'm more worried about the financial status and how this is going to fuck over. Essentially, millennials and younger in the UK right now. Mm hmm. Because all of their trade has essentially been fucked. Because then. Uh, go, uh. It's, it's gonna take a couple of years to happen, but that, that just means people early on are gonna pull out their companies there. Uh. But being part of the Euro European Union means you're part of the European Union's trading system which mm -hmm. other parts of the world have agreed to, to trade with. That's one of the benefits. Damn it, don't come here! So, the UK is essentially no longer going to be a trading hub, which is where a large portion of, it, of its commerce comes from. Because people were afraid of immigrants. Mm-hmm. And it I mean, to get all deeply political and philosophical, it it shows the possibility of, I still doubt it would happen, I'm trying to talk over a dog, of what a Trump America could be like. Because, essentially, him and his ilk would ruin our trade as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to bug the dog for a sec to see if I can get him to shut up. Mm-hmm. Anyway, not really going to delve into it more than that few possibilities and the fact that the the whole stock market crashed from yesterday and they're on of, because I care about stocks now, um, which really anybody, you young kids out there who probably aren't listening to us, at least get a vague understanding of stocks because it controls your economy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's the end of the world as we know it and blah, blah, blah. And I feel fine. I don't. Well, I feel a little bit fine, but not about that. So what else are we going to talk about? 
I don't know. The world is scary. And the world is shit, bro. Oh my god, the world is such shit that I got an EBT card for fucking sixteen dollars. <laughs> That's a month. I don't, I don't even understand why. I mean, I get you know why they would do it, but it just feels like such a slap in the face. Yeah, it's like really because. Even though, okay, so technically there are three households in this house. Because my mother is her own individual household. My mother-in-law yeah. is her own individual household. And then there's me and my husband. The two of them already have cards. Them having cards, in a legal sense, no way it affects any other households within the household. But because my husband makes just enough, apparently we were put into the lowest percentile. Because we don't pay rent. Uh, of what you can be given in EBT. <laughs> oh, like you're you're the smallest amount they can give you and still give you something. Yeah, because we pay utilities, so clearly we need food help, but we don't pay rent. So we have some of his check, and ignoring that we pay, you know, car, uh, PG and E. Yeah, I cable. Know. And, uh, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's sixteen dollars we didn't have before, and it's fucking ridiculous that to have food in the house we have to have three EBT cards. But um, well, obviously, you it just was just the government say you're paying a whole shit ton of rent. <laughs> no, my mother is the household paying rent, so that's on her application because her work pays the rent. That's the deal, yo. I guess that will buy us milk and bread. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> There's not a lot you can get with $16. Like, is it enough to bother to ask for the card, or do we let it just build up because it, it every month it turns over what you didn't spend, and then, like, use it in case of emergencies or something. My cousin was going to do that. She got some sort of like deal where her like her baby's daddy had to give X amount of dollars to her even though she's got like 100% custody. It was some god awful small amount like I'll say like same deal it was like 15 or 20 bucks a month. So she was going to let it build up and then use it for like Christmas and shit. This wasn't like food money. This was just like money, money. Mm -hmm. And the fucking county took the money. <laughs> like, well, you're not using it, so uh, that's ours now. Well, my mother used to work for this county, so I know how the system works. But <laughs> yeah, I was just shocked. I'm like, wow, that's a that's a punch in the face. Yeah, that is kind of dumb. That I mean, it's one thing to take taxes off of, but it's another to just fucking take it. Unless she's receiving, uh, a specific type of assistance from the government, they shouldn't have been able to touch that money. But I don't know the state or county the laws there. So yeah, it was really weird. It was like there were there was some it was some argument. I, she was trying to explain it to me. I'm going, that just seems really crazy to me. But it was basically like, originally she didn't ask him for anything. She wanted anything to do with it. But the, the county got pissed because they were, she was originally getting like assistance mm -hmm. before she got her, her better job. And the county got pissed because he wasn't paying any support, period. So they took, the county took, him to court and demanded that he pay some sort of assistance to her if they were going to have to pay all this like county and state assistance. And so that's how that got started. Like It was a token amount, just enough to get him off the hook, I guess. Yeah, that kind of happened to my brother. Uh, my brother has two children who I love very dearly, and one is, is uh, getting ready to go off to college, actually. Yay! But for uh, the younger of his children, his son, uh, his mother, they, they, he has shared custody with all of them. But his mother, technically he didn't have to pay child support to her because she didn't want it. But she, she, he, he had the open door policy of, I will always, you know, give you if you want it. 
But the second she got assistance from the government, the government's like, why aren't you getting any child support? And suddenly he has to pay a shit ton. Technically he was paying it anyway, but now the government dictates when it comes out of his check, so... Yeah. Yeah. Everything was was working fine, but because she's getting assistance now, the government needs to know that yeah. he's paying his fair share. Which kind of blew. Because when they started doing that, I believe the time frame... Like, again, she was going to get the money anyway, but they kept taking it out at, like, the most opportune time of the month at the start of it. Like... It'd be, like, between checks when they would take it out. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Anyway. We're going to take it out on the 9th. Yeah. The 9th? It's... It makes sense to the legal system, which I doubt it actually makes sense to, but as someone who currently receives and has received and has worked with people who fill out and do... The management of said things and give out the fees. It is actually quite random for when you will receive or have things taken away from you. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, and and I don't know if it's just our county, but uh, sometimes government computers are really dumb. And by computers, I mean the software and computers as well. So the, those are probably overworked and need to be updated but aren't because government so I got in the mail a letter saying that I had missed my interview appointment and then I'm like no I didn't I had it on the phone I haven't set a physical appointment because I was able to put the documents online and the and even the, the website says I'm approved so I had to call a lady a lady, not the lady, I got a lady, call the the county office. Essentially, the computer thought that my phone interview was an in-person interview, and because I never signed into the county office, which is what you have to do when you go in for anything, Yeah. I never had my interview. <laughs> Even though in the other section of my paperwork, it says I had my interview. The lady essentially had to make me a fake interview for that day and claim that I had signed in for it. Jesus. Yeah. I feel like there should have been some button or something they could have pressed to say, it was a phone interview, no sign-in required. Yeah, I, I don't, apparently that's just the easiest way to deal with the system. California's government is so backed up that we are still having issues getting, like, driver's license and IDs out to people. Yeah. My mother and I are currently wandering around with expired IDs because we haven't received our replacements yet. Oof. And hers is a, is a driver's license. <laughs> what now? Her, her expired ID is her driver's license, which is currently oh. expired. <laughs> Well, as long as you, you guys have paperwork? And she has a paper thingy. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah, but it means that every time she stopped over, which she doesn't get, but if it happens, she has to essentially explain to the officer, which Grieve is, well, like... Grieve is also having this problem because her license plates were stolen. Oh, and God. she hasn't received, well, only one of them, but she was told to take the other one off. She hasn't received the replacements yet, but she has paper. So occasionally she gets stopped by a cop because she has no plates and yeah. has to show him the paperwork and say, can I go now? I have shit to do. <laughs> Which is That's terrible like... because she just got the truck working again and then someone steals a plate. Also, because they stole the plate, the plate number is listed as stolen, so when they run her car first off, they have to go through that rigmarole. Oh, God. Government efficiency at its best. I was gonna say, like, I remember being really pissed because, like, the two weeks that between, you know, applying for my new driver's license or my renewal and waiting for it was, like, the two weeks that I hit every bar in Minnesota. And so every time I went to a bar, I had to go back out to the car and get my paperwork. Because now my license <laughs> says it's void. 
and nobody will take a void license despite the fact that it's me and it proves like literally everywhere except my own liquor store everybody's like i don't know if that's a real license the guy at my liquor store the first the reason why it's my liquor store is i went in and i handed the guy all my shit because at this point i i knew i was gonna need it and the guy looks at me and goes well your license is your license he goes it doesn't whether it's void or not it's real right i'm like yeah it's like so what's the problem i'm like well it's void it's like yes but it's you on your license He's like, all I need to do is look at your license and see that you're old enough to drink. That's it. Mm-hmm. You're not trying to drive the bottle of vodka, all right? So <laughs> I don't need to see your paperwork. <laughs> I'm sorry, the bottle of scotch. Because it, it's scotch I was buying, but I'm just, I'm just saying, like, he's going. You're not trying to drive the bottle of booze, all right? Like, it doesn't. Have, you don't have to prove that it's a valid license. All I need to do is know that it's you and that you're old enough to drink. And by looking at the picture on the license, I can tell it's you, and I can tell that the license is real, because it has all the holographs and shit. Mm-hmm. So there. He goes, you wouldn't bring me a fucking fake license with the void punched out of it. <laughs> I looked at him, I'm like, what? He goes, he goes, I can know for a fact it's a real license, because who the fuck would get a fake license and have the void punched in it? I'm like, that's kind of ingenious. He goes, yes, exactly. He goes, that's how I know it's real. Because you would fucking punch Void in a fake license. That would just make people ask questions. (laughs) So only somebody who actually is really that age would have a fucking Void license on the countertop trying to buy a bottle of scotch. This isn't fucking rocket science. Not trying to outthink each other here common fucking sense <laughs> and like that like that that interaction is the entire reason why i use the liquor store i use because the dude was just like he was the only person everywhere i went i got the fucking third degree at a couple bars they're like I, I don't think this is a real license i'm like i'm 29 years old give me a fucking break <sighs> ask me anything about the 90s i'm old i'll tell you about them <laughs> The fucking the fucking waitress is younger than I am. I'm going. She goes. I will never forget. We went to this little pub downtown, and the waitress goes to the hostess. The hostess goes to the bartender. The bartender goes to the goddamn manager, and they're all looking at each other like, "Is it a real license? Is it a real license? I don't know. I don't know." And finally they go, do you have a second form of identification? So I hand them my fucking student ID and they go, oh, it really is you. No shit. And the best and the best part of all, of everything that happened, was the guy at the liquor store who goes, you know, if there's really a question, most places you can just slide the card. And if it's real, the DMV will ping it back. I looked at him like, what? He goes, that magnetic strip. He goes, anytime anybody needs to check your license, like the police, they go in their car and they just slide it through their computer and the computer reads back whether it's a real license or not. Mm-hmm. He's like, almost every bar can do this. I'm like, so you're telling me I'm getting all this rigmarole because the waitresses are fucking lazy. Yes. Well, not lazy. <laughs> they probably weren't trained to bother to do that. Yeah. And the best part was, as soon... As soon as I fucking got my new license, we weren't bar hopping anymore. I just remember thinking, this is my luck. Two weeks out of ten years that I've had a fucking driver's license, and it's the two it's the two weeks that I'm in between licenses. <sighs> now I mean really honestly, it was only two weeks between going to get my license and getting my license, so like, I got no complaints, unlike apparently you do. Not that it's an invalid complaint, I'm just saying, like, my state apparently isn't a shit storm, and I get my shit on time. Excuse you, it's a firestorm. A firestorm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Out of all the flooding issues we have, it's not usually sewage backlog flooding, it's flooding from sudden rain. Because a lot of cities are still not fixed for that. What, you mean their their storm sewers are all fucked up? Yeah. Um, especially in some of the the vaguely newer, and I don't mean like 
couple of years, I mean like early 2000 newer areas, um, uh, this is actually an issue on some of the highway areas in Sacramento. Well, they, they appear to have fixed it. They, they added drains. Who would have thought to certain areas? But they had put up these nice walls and terrain and whatnot, you know, gentrification at its finest, that just collected the rain right back into the road. Oof. So, like, business 80 and shit would be flooded at parts. <laughs> we function, sort of. We're too big, but it would be too expensive to split up anyway. And yeah, Southern yeah, California much. would be left without water because they get it from us. It's almost as if California should be a couple different states. Yeah, but we should have done that long ago. <laughs> because it's a bit late now. Because we don't have money to redo the infrastructure to do that. I mean, kudos so, to the couple of counties who have been able to do some good things. But for the most part, like a lot of states in America right now, really, though, at an ecological level, we're kind of fucked. We're we're apparently going to lose most of our forests this year due to estimated burn rates and just how there's not enough time in between to regrow actual trees and not just little shrubberies. So, yay for that. Sorry. That's probably going to mean more mud and rock slides. It's a good thing we have tree farms. Oh, poor Yellowstone. Oh my god, I might have to deal with bears. Cupcake, I don't, oh. don't want to have to deal with bears. I mean, the I don't mean, you know, adorable, slightly portly gay men. I mean, the, the grizzly kind. Rawr. <laughs> Fabulous. You know, like the California black bear. Mm -hmm. You know how to open doors. To be fair, uh, occasionally, I, I, I'm, I'm probably not going to ever suffer damage from the poor wildlife that is going to have to come down out of the mountains because of the yet again fires. I just feel sorry for them having to root around through our trash for food and the poor school children who are put on lockdown when that happens. There's a mountain lion in the dumpster. Okay, lock down. Who's got a trank? <sighs> anyway, um, how did we get there? I I don't know. It probably makes sense. I don't know. I'm having a bit of a weird day. I've I've taken only over the counter painkillers because I smoked some pot this morning and it is apparently just keeping me pretty okay through the day. Woo. Not having to take my tram at all. Although I think I'm going to have to take one soon. Oh no. Sorry, oh, that's yeah. too long. So my brain is starting to go into oh god, oh god. Everything hurts. Shut down. Go gnome mode. And I'm having difficulty thinking. Um. Uh. But da 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 da. Didn't I bookmark shit? Was it mostly about the European Union? Uh. The only anime I've been watching lately is Polar Bear Cafe, and I recommend anybody watch that. It's adorable as fuck. Let's keep it in mind. I don't, I don't know if there's a dub of it. Not yeah, but I'm sure there will be. Hang on, let me like check. Polar bears. And penguins and pandas. And your face. Ah. Well, I'd rather they not in my face, because they have sharp bits. Ow. Hey. <laughs> so 
just a couple more weeks until we bring the kittens home, and hopefully they they love Ringo, because he'll love them. Whether they like it or not. Yeah, because he pretty much, unless, except for that dog that kept trying to hump him, which he was still friendly with, just not the humping bit, he pretty much wants to be friends with anything that isn't a small child. Mmm. Uh, uh, oh, come on. While it never received an official international release, mostly due to its heavy emphasis on Japanese wordplay, which complicates the potential for dubbing into other languages, it is available on Crunchyroll. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I, I forget what that game's called, but yeah, there's a lot of the... Where someone says something, and then another person fakingly misinterprets it, as a word that sort of sounds like it in Japanese. Oh boy. I I guess it's sort of like their sarcasm. I can see why that would be difficult because the English version of those words don't really sound the same. But uh, if you can deal with subs, which I can, it, it's adorable and you can watch it on Crunchyroll. If if you want to watch a penguin obsess over another penguin, only to find out that that one penguin turned out to actually be six different penguins who looked alike, but he couldn't tell the difference day to day, and now they're very angry at him and want him to choose. Mm. It's like the most dramatic thing that happens. It's actually quite funny. Um, uh, yeah, it's, I guess it's a shame that there's not a dub, but I get why. And oh no, people I know are doing things on Facebook they shouldn't do on Facebook, because reasons, so I'm going to close Facebook. All the Facebook, all the time. Yeah, a lot of people I know are having relationship issues and that's the most I'm going to say about it because that's their private thing and I don't need to talk about it on a recording without them being here oh snap <laughs> but I am going to the flea market tomorrow and then I'm going to the beach and then I'm gonna get drunk off my watermelon read a book and Get nice and toasty in the sand. Oof. I'll and, be working. And like maybe I go on the ocean. I don't know. Then what? It maybe go on the ocean. Yeah. Probably why you just sit in the sand. I wouldn't go on the ocean. It's full of sharks. And jellyfish. And barracuda. To be fair, this is actually a lake. Oh. <laughs> But never mind. <laughs> it's it's Folsom Lake. Um, I guess I haven't really done much in the way of exciting things other than go to the beach, read books. Those are only exciting to me, though. I don't know, I think we might have to call this one early. I just, I have nothing to talk about, I'm sorry. Alright, you've been busy. And, like, I don't really have much to talk about that isn't angry, political, or about shit you don't watch, so it's not very helpful. So. Maybe next time we'll have more to talk about, who knows. You never know. Maybe one of us will you know, find entertainment somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, so, good night, Bones. And good night, good night, Kiki. Internet beings. The internet. It's out there. It's for porn. Yes. Yes, it is. Porn and pictures of cute animals. 
and damn right and never mixed go that would be wrong <laughs> wait I got a cute animal for you one second okay <laughs> I, I think you'll really like it <sighs> Oh, <laughs> well, I was actually expecting a dick pic of some sort, but it's not. It's just a dog wow. pissing a bubble. You think so little of me. I would never send you a dick pic. I didn't say of yours. Oh, well, yeah, you're right then. Yeah. I just figured you've seen enough dicks in your life. I mean, shit. Actually, my new greatest joy is sending you... Uh, comic book artwork that doesn't make any sense anatomically. <laughs> well, my new joy is apparently sending you vines of animals. Oh, those are great. The one about the pugs in the, uh, in the, uh, the hammock, that was great. Just living the pug life. <laughs> so great. Thank you once again for listening to the Super Happy Fun Jabbertron Tea Party with Kiki and Cupcake. As a purist, I feel that sun brewing is the best method to create a good jug of ice tea during the sunny hot days. But since everything is either on fire or flooding right now, leaving a jug outside may not be in one's best interest. Well, my fellow internet beings. Uh, okay. Good night, man. Good night, Keith. Transmission terminated.